Okay, go ahead. Okay, so number one, we have the renal vein. Number two is the renal artery. Number three is the ureter. Number four is the renal pelvis. Number five are the calluses. This would be major, this would be minor, and then out here would be the renal column. Number six down here is the renal papillae. Number seven is the renal pyramid. The renal papillae, is that in between the columns? I think it's behind the columns. Okay. So these burgundy areas, these are all of the renal pyramids. Okay. Number eight is the collecting duct. We're going down to okay, some smaller structures. Okay. Um, number nine up here is the contoured renal tubule. Number ten is the loop of Henley. Would you mind pointing to the one you said just before the loop of Henley? Sure, right here. This is the contour renal tubule. It's that little dot right there? Mm, this No, this little top circular Oh, that top portion. circular part. Okay, yeah. sorry. So 10, coming down here, is the loop of Hen Henley. That's going to be this portion. I could, was having a hard time so finding number 11, which was another of these the contour renal tubules. So we'll just go on. Number 12 right here is the corpuscles and kidney, uh, the renal corpuscle, also known as the glomerulus Bowman's capsule. Number 13 is the interlobal arteries. You can see they come in between the pyramids and fan out to the cortex. Number 14. We have the afferent arteries going into the glomerulus. And then 15, we have the efferent arteries coming out of the glomerulus. 16, you have your capillary beds. 17 is the interlobal vein. Which I think would be the 18 or the arcuate vein. So oh, 17 here it is, the interlobal vein. So it's parallel to the interlobal arteries. Okay. So then out here, 18, we have the arcuate vein and the arcuate artery. Okay. And over here we have a larger structure of the smaller stuff. So here would be the Bowman's capsule. The corpuscle of the kidney, the renal corpuscle, Bowman's capsule, which contains the glomerulus. Two, here we have the proximal. Sorry. To the proximal convoluting loop coming down to the loop of Henley. Actually. Yeah, and then the, up here is the distal convoluting tubule, and then number six right here is so the collecting duct. So again right here you have your glomerulus, which goes down to the proximal convoluting tubule, which descends into the descending loop of Henley. Coming up is the ascending loop of Henley, going into the distal convoluting tubule into the collecting duct. Great. And then this is um, a close-up of one of these, the corp, the you know, the renal corpuscle. The outer portion is the, um, the Bowman's capsule, and then this inner portion is called the glomerulus. You can see here is the afferent artery going into the capillary bed, and then over here, number seven is the efferent artery leaving the capillary bed. Um, and you can kind of see here that these are the podocytes on top of the capillary, and those little squiggly lines are the foot processes. What's that this red? Be the endothelium. These are all capillaries. These are all capillaries. Yeah. Okay. Right here. And that's about it. I mean, you can go into. Um,
the endothelium, podocyte, basement membrane, etc. Are those the glomerula capillaries or are those the peritubular? No, these are okay. the glomerulus. The paratubular capillaries are near the outside of it. So, like the paratubular capillaries would be up here in the cortex region, and then the vas recta would be down here. It's not shown, but the vas recta capillaries would be descending the loop of Henle like a ladder. But it's not. Okay. Great. Oh, my second review because I didn't have my last one. What? Yeah. I'm here at two out of three on my second review day instead of three out of three. So it looks like they're. Why do you think we're doing how they come out?